Hey guys, for sake of reality here, today we're going to be looking into Camera Shakes, specifically for Unreal Engine 4.26. Since in 4.26 and beyond, there have been some changes to how Camera Shakes are set up, and we're just going to look into that. Camera Shakes are useful for plenty of different things, from movement, when you press forward, or you jump and land, and you're landing, to explosions, which would be a different, slightly different type, which, depending on how close you are to it, would play a different amount of the shake and there's things like shooting camera shakes which is what we'll be specifically looking into setting up a shooting shake for this specific episode i'll probably look into other ones later on and set up explosions and other things but for now we're going to set this up and default set quick shooting I can shoot my four times, so that looks like that. This is like the camera shift and look like in the original first And you can adjust how much the camera moves and rotates, shakes in any direction. All this is done with the camera shake. If you notice, I actually disabled the first person animation that you would normally have in the project. Uh, I'm going beyond it there. And... You can ignore this mess. This is my test project. And we're basically been looking into right here. And I also set up a specific shape shake for the rifle. So that's a little more fine-tuned. I just had the masters as a default one. You notice that some of the the gun is a little bit of a kick to it. Screen shakes, just to show you exactly what it's doing here. I put none, disable that altogether. <laughs> Nothing really happens when you don't have your shakes on. So without further ado, we will get this camera shake. And with this, you'll be able to make other types of camera shakes and play around with these. I'll teach you how to use all the settings. I'm just going to move my test project out of the way. And I have a fully blank first person template here. And all I did was create this folder. I'm just going to delete it just so I can show you. All I did was go into blueprints, new folders, camera shake. Create in a folder here. You can pause the video and create your project if you didn't already. And the way we're going to get the camera shakes is we're going to go into here. And you used to be able to just search camera shake. And there will be a camera shake right here. You just click it and it will create it. But now there's a few differences with the camera shake that have been extended in 4.26. Specifically, we're going to be looking into the matinee camera shake. So you select that and create it. And I'm just going to... Make a master camera shake because you can actually right click and create children of your camera shake. So we can use that this to set default values. And we can, for example, this can be your master shoot shake or your master explosion shake. And different explosions or different shoots would have different shakes. So basically in this blueprint, and notice over here on the right... We have all of our settings for adjusting our shake. And I'm just going to go for the oscillating duration, which means how long the shake will last. And this will be how fast it will blend into the shake. And this is how fast it will blend out of the shake. I'm going to leave that at a 0.2. And I'm going to open up the rotation. And basically this will allow you to adjust the uh, rotation of your camera, the pitch, which is left and right. I'll just show you this, basically. Amplitude is how much it's going to actually shake. So I put 15 here, and 5 for the frequency. I'm just going to test this out, just so we can test it out as we're going along. I'm going to go in your first person character. And we're going to scroll over here. And I'm going to 
drag out and you'll notice you'll need to actually pick off the context sensitive and we'll want the client start camera shake which means we'll it'll play on the owning player only this is a pre-made event that's built into the engine which is pretty useful And we'll want to get our player controller. We can tick the context sensitive back on so we can get more specific. And we'll get the player controller. And we'll just get our master camera shake that we made here. And it's going to play on the local camera. I'm just going to comment that like so. And I'm also going to delete that because I don't like that animation where it takes the rifle out of your hand. You can actually do that with... If you're doing a first person game, you can just do that with the camera shake itself. In multiplayer, you'll probably want to be able to like see, maybe see the kick. Um, I have another video on my channel for, in my Remnant tutorial, which would you, be useful for all, video, all other videos. But you could uh, set up a procedural recoil animation basically which is which will allow your right your arms to kick backwards when you shoot a bullet um yeah now we can test our, our so you know it to up and, down. and it's random we don't want a random we want it at zero if you put it at zero Uh, for the pitch, we're just gonna keep it on random. And if you use Perlin noise, you'll actually get more of a springy uh, rotation to it. So pretty crazy here to get over, over the values just to test it, but you can adjust those to your liking. Um, I'm just going to set this up as 0.5 so the amplitude is lower. And play this. And the frequency. I'm just gonna set this really high so I can show you exactly what it's like. Vibrate. But uh, we can actually get that if we set this to five. We go to our yaw and our roll. And this will be yaw is is left to right and roll is around, obviously. And we'll just set these to 0.25. And these are all going to be pearl and noise, so they have that spring motion to them. And this is what you would want, want maybe for this animation. You can always adjust these to your own liking and play around with this. And I have that set up to be not so crazy in this one. Just setting up some, uh, some defaults. So we don't want a crazy shoot shake. And you can always amp, and if you, have, you ever want to test to see what's going on exactly, you can always just set like a higher value. Camera. Left to right. And for the now we're gonna to want to set up our location, which we're only gonna to want to deal with X. And we're gonna use zero so it only goes it won't randomly pop around, but X is back will be back and forth. And that will allow us to get like a kick in our built into the camera setting without actually having to use any animation at all. I'm just gonna set these to 15. And we're gonna set keep this at sings. We don't want too crazy of a spring. And I use some shoot has some sort of kick. And the amplitude will allow you to adjust how far basically the rifle kicks back. And the frequency will just be like springiness of it, how fast it moves into the in through that motion. 
basically. So you can mess around with these and get some nice perk values that you get. I'll set up a rifle shake in this video as well. Just so I can show you how to set up a nice smooth one that I thought, well, I think it's smooth at least. It's what I plan to use for this video at least. And uh, this is optional, but you can also do a field of view adjustments. I'm just going to set up a high value on it first. 0.5 is what I normally when I set there. And zero, so it's not popping back and forth. We don't want too crazy of a spring. We don't want to be careful with this because if you set this amplitude higher than this or equal to it, for example, you can see right here. That the it also basically removes a lot of the camera's moving, not the arm is moving anymore. So you want to be careful setting that too high or too close to your X location. I personally like that. And I'm just gonna set up a secondary shake. So we can right click. Create child. This is going to be for a rifle shake. I'm just going to actually name this. Camera shake rifle. And you'll notice you'll have all the settings predetermined here for our... From there, and... I'm just going to make some simple changes and turn down the location to 4 and the frequency I'll set to 20. Keep that 0 in sin. All these are Perlin noise. Random. You can adjust those like I said yourself. And if you want your first person character, we can actually set up our rifle shoot shake. Animation, it's, I mean the shake itself. So if you were to disable that, it would really mean nothing. That just shows you how much you can actually get out of your camera shake. It's pretty cool, pretty neat feature that you can mess around with and just so we can test out our rapid fire I'm just going to quickly set up a rapid fire event here and basically all we're going to want to do here is create a boolean this is a prototype this is not why you'd probably want to use it in an actual game unless it's just a super basic game basically you want to check if your left mouse is pressed that's what you'll be using to loop through and continue checking to see if you're shooting. And basically when you're pressing left mouse, set this, spawn actor. Um, you might have some shooting animations. You can mix in with your camera animations later, which is why I didn't actually remove this. You can just replug that in if you have your own rifles with shooting animations later on. But I don't, so I'm just going to show you. I just showed you how to do the kick with the camera shake to show you specifically how powerful, I guess, that those would be and useful they are without even using any animation. And when we're not, when we release the button, we're going to disable the left mouse. So if it's true, we will want to create a delay. First, we'll run the delay, and we're just going to promote this to a variable. That'll be our fire rate. Distance editable, and I'm just going to set that to 0.1, so it's faster fire rate. And basically, when we come out of our client shake, I'm going to come over here. come into our shoot shake 
and when we if we are our left mouse is pressed and not released which is when what when that would set this variable false we will spawn the projectile and i'm just going to put that like so here and so it can look a little neater And if you select these and then hold a uh, shit, select these and hold control and select these, then you can click Q. And you probably didn't want to select those, but it's how you can straighten up your nodes. And we can quickly grab these just to drag it up a little, make it look a little nicer there. Yeah, basically this is how it would we'd be looping through. So basically it would come through, shoot our shake, check our fire rate, and delay it every single time. This is where it would be stopping. And if we're, our mouse is still pressed at this point, then we will shoot. With whatever you want to set your fire rate to. And that's going to be everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any tutorial video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below or join my Discord server using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.